Hi, in this video I will walk you through the classic digital planner from my daily planners. Uh, this digital planner is dated for uh, two full years, 2022 and 23, and it also comes in four different languages, English, French, uh, German and Spanish. It is also available uh, in uh, landscape uh, orientation so you can choose between this portrait and landscape mode. Uh, this digital planner uh, was also featured as one of the best digital planners for 2021 by Rolling Stone magazine. Um, first of all uh, when you uh, open your planner you will land on this uh, index page uh, this page will be accessible from any other page in your planner. You just need to tap this index button in the top right corner to go back to this page. Uh, this page is important because from this page you will access your uh, additional templates and you can also um, access uh, the start of these uh, dated sections in your planner. Uh, but of course to navigate your planner uh, first, you will have to choose the year, 22 or 23. Now we are on the calendar for the year 22. And uh, all of the uh, months, days and weeks in this calendar are uh, hyperlinked. They are connected to uh, the pages in your planner for... Um, daily planner weekly planner and monthly planner so if we uh, click for example this january we will get to your monthly planner page for the month of january uh, on this monthly page uh, again all of the days and weeks are also clickable so in general to navigate your planner it's uh, very easy you just need to click once or twice so you can either use this uh, calendar page and uh, click on, a, on any month week or day like this now we are on a daily page or uh, to switch between the months of the year you can use these side tabs for example we want to access the april monthly page and now we are on the main, uh, april monthly page from this page you can click on uh, the week and you uh, will uh, jump to uh, the weekly page the weekly planner page um, of course from the weekly planner page you can again access any daily page now we're on the march 28th uh, every daily page has this small calendar widget that is also clickable so you can click any week or day from the current month and like this march 10th um, have in mind that uh, aside from these side tabs and the calendar page to navigate your planner you can also uh, click on any month year or week written on your planner page that you're currently on so if we now from here click on week 10 we are back on the week 10 weekly planner page from this weekly page if we click on uh, March we will go to March monthly page and from the monthly page if we click on the year we will go back to the yearly calendar page um, aside from these uh, uh, regular planner pages, there are a few additional pages uh, to mention in this planner. For example, if we are on a weekly page and we click on this icon and icon in the top right corner, we will be taken to a note, notes page for that specific week. It is marked here. So... Uh, and easily jump between um, this uh, notes page and uh, weekly page like this. So if we click to week, we go back to the weekly page and again click this N icon 
and we are back to uh, our notes page for this week of course you if you need more than one page to take notes for the said week just uh duplicate this page uh, in good notes there is uh, an option to duplicate this current template so you just choose here it says current template just choose current template and the week uh, eight notes page is duplicated and what's great about this is that the duplicated page itself keeps the same links as the original page that it's duplicated from so uh, this is the original page this is du duplicated page and of course the links uh, are still functional uh, also this planner comes with a few additional template pages that you can use uh, like a project planner meeting notes uh, grid ruled and blank templates and habit tracker uh, there are a few ways for you to use these um, extra pages so um, uh, to for example to use this habit tracker every month uh you should um, copy this page so say copy and then uh, go to um, the monthly page for example january page and paste the page after so you can choose here before after after this page we just pasted the habit tracker so when you're on monthly page and you want to track your habits for that month you insert uh, this template like this and swipe only once and here you have your um, uh, habit tracker um, of course for uh, these links will uh, be uh, working also but since this is a planner for two years we can't have you know uh, monthly tabs here uh, January, February, etc. But we have uh, calendar tabs to go back uh, to the calendar page or just swipe once to get to January page and use the links from there. Uh, there are also uh, a couple of uh, project uh, folders or templates. So if you click on a project, here is a, a separate a project separator page and uh, if you like, uh, you can, uh, you know, paste any of the templates uh, after this folder and duplicate is needed. So, uh, for example, uh, we will get some uh, blank ruled pages, copy them, go to uh, the project page and just paste the page here so when we are on our project page i swipe once and here is a blank ruled page and then we can just uh, duplicate it as many times as we want uh, this concludes um, the walkthrough video for this digital planner uh, please uh, follow uh, the link in the description uh, to uh, get this planner and uh, uh, write me in the comments if you have any uh, further uh, questions uh, for this specific digital planner there is there is also a set of um, inserts available uh, so those are uh, matching uh, inserts uh, set uh, I will go through it uh, just quickly uh, so uh, you can um, copy and paste these in the original planner as ex uh, explained uh, before uh, or you can use these within the inserts uh, document so for example here is your year at a glance year in review monthly overview you can copy and insert after every monthly page in your planner uh, these are uh, all matching in style to your uh, classic digital planner routine planner chores tracker your bank information savings tracker orders tracker 
uh, you can uh, track your various accounts, uh, you know, login information, and this uh, offers you all A to Z uh, pages, so you can click like this and jump between so you can easily organize your uh, account information same goes for your contacts if you want to keep them this way you have you know digital a to z uh, contacts organizer inside this inserts pack there's also 30 days challenge page vision board reading uh, list your travel planner workout and meals planner that you can copy and insert after every uh, weekly page in your planner just as i showed you and just tap here at the bottom to get back to this um, index page of the insert set see you next time